Hi, I'm Rayanne, and I'm going to talk to you guys today about my commitment to gratitude. Um, I'm excited I actually got this particular commitment because um, it's something I've been consciously working on over the past year. Um, there are two strategies that I've used this year to try and become a more grateful person. So I'm going to share those with you and encourage you to do them along with me. Um, the first is that I actually have this gratitude journal I've been writing in since January. And there's actual evidence that tells us people who um, uh, physically write down what they're grateful for weekly are um, happier, uh, healthier, less stress, they sleep better at night. And so I encourage you guys to um, get a journal, put it by your bedside or put it um, in your office drawer at work and to get in the habit of um, writing down daily, if not um, or weekly, what you're grateful for. And the second is that I joined um, the Cabot Kids organization. Um, so as many of you guys know, um, I became an advisory board member um, for Cabot this year. And that's something um, that has helped me to keep perspective. So if there's something um, that you're already passionate about, an organization, um, charitable or otherwise, um, I encourage you to get more involved um, in that organization. And um, being around these kids um, really helps you keep perspective of um, being grateful that you have a happy, healthy family. Um, as I was about to do this video, um, I actually opened um, this gift from the Cabot kids who are grateful themselves um, for the very little work that I've done with them thus far. Um, and there was actually this tiny little piece of paper um, that was wrapped up in the gift and it says, feeling gratitude and not expressing it, it is, it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. So um, I encourage you to think about somebody that you're grateful for today and um, to tell them about it. Uh, thank you.